Hi, my name is Sanjay Arya, and uh, I was part of the original team uh, at Yahoo that uh, created Hadoop. And so we were, you know, I was part of the team that founded uh, Hortonworks. So it was a pretty exciting time for us to kind of take Hadoop to the next level, uh, make it more commercially viable, and uh, you know, make it more easily accessible to people. So I started working on Hadoop in uh, 2007, so I, uh, Yahoo had been doing Hadoop for about a year then, and I joined uh, Yahoo as the chief architect for the core of Hadoop, uh, and so I was overlooking, you know, MapReduce and HDFS um, and the project as a whole. So HDFS was created to solve a problem that Yahoo had, and, and and other companies like Google also had the same problem with that huge amounts of data. Okay, and there was no commercial system, even if you're willing to pay millions of dollars, there was no commercial system that could store, you know, tens of petabytes and process tens of petabytes in, in real time. Well, storage on a SAN, if you were to buy a SAN, would cost you anywhere from 10 to $20 a gigabyte. On a NAS, it's like $1 to $5 a gigabyte. On Hadoop, it's like five cents a gigabyte. So one of the unique things about the Hadoop storage system is that it, it actually has storage and also its computation on the same node. So you're actually buying a server to serve the data and also to compute the data. Uh, the storage layer has always been completely fault tolerant. Okay, and so for example, if any node dies, any disk dies, the system automatically recovers. In fact, if you have a 12 terabyte node that dies on, on let's say, uh, uh, HDFS uh, on a thousand node system, for example, it'll recover in, in you know, 20, 30 minutes, okay? On a comparable system like SAN, where you have RAID, if you lose a single disk, it can take you 25 hours. Well, some of the things that we're looking at, in the future that really excites me is, is things like technologies like flash memory. So Hadoop does not distinguish between storage media of different kinds and you've now added in hooks to do that. Uh, we are looking at extending it so that it can, the, the, the lowest level storage system can use a lot of RAM and cache. So for example, if you have data sets that are say, very popular and common and uh, they would fit in RAM, so you could store some of the cache, some of the data in RAM. Another really interesting area is kind of the merge with say, uh, use of Hadoop and, and OpenStack, which is really a, a way to do cloud computing uh, on the cloud or inside your enterprise. And so we see those things becoming closer and we see Hadoop and HDFS both uh, interacting with those kind of new emerging technologies much, much better. So th those are some really exciting things that we're looking forward to.